So, using long division, we got that 3x squared plus 19x plus 20. Another nice thing about this one was that that's just a trinomial, right? Once we start working with very large polynomials in it, well, it can become very difficult. Not really difficult, but just long, which is why it's called long division, by the way. So, how many x's would go into 3x squared? Well, that'd be a 3x. So when I got uh, 3 times 3x times x would give me that 3x squared, which is what I want, so that they'll cancel out. Then I've got 3x times 5, which is a 15x. And I'll subtract that out from the 19x. Which brings us to 4x. And then I'll drop this plus 20. Well, how many x's go into 4x's right here? Well, I would get 4 of those. So 4 times x is 4x. We'll subtract that out. 4 times 5 is 20, which we'll subtract out as well. These both cancel out, and we have a remainder of 0. So there's our final answer. All right, so let's look at synthetic division. Um, so on this one, and, uh, well... We just, this needs to be the opposite of whatever that is right there. And not only that, but the coefficient of x has to be 1. Um, otherwise, this doesn't work. 5 has to be the opposite of what? And so we got to take the opposite of whatever is being added to x, uh, which in this case is 5. We're adding 5. So we're going to take the opposite of that. Um, that means that we would have a negative 5, okay? Now we put this in a little box up here because that's the way this goes, all right? Sorry, I don't know why the, the format is this way, but it does kind of flow pretty well and make things look extremely pretty here in just a moment. Uh, then we got to look at this second, or I'm not, I'm sorry, not the second, but the dividend, which is 3x squared plus 19x plus 20. And this is already in descending order. If there were any gaps, we would need place values there of zero. Now, right now, uh, there are no gaps. We have x squared, then x, and then kind of an x to the power of zero. So it's in descending order by degree. Um, but we're just going to focus on just the coefficient. So the first one there is 3. The second one is 19. And then our final constant number is just a 20. All right, now we're going to put a line down here because that's how it goes. And we love it. And we draw pretty lines. Um, the nice thing about this is we're just going to drop the first number and have a 3. Now, kind of like with what happens with the long division, we're going to multiply the 3 and the negative 5, which is kind of what would have happened with that 5 right there. Right? Well, 3 times negative 5, that would be a negative 15, which kind of shows itself right here in the bottom there. Does everyone see that down here? Um, and then we add those two, 19 plus negative 15, or 19 minus 15 would be 4. So you see how that kind of is the x's that we just did right there? Um, so then we do 4 times the negative 5 which is a negative 20, and we take 20 plus or minus 20, and that would be 0, all right? So the way this works is now we have to go back and look at this. We started with 3x squared. We're just going to take everything down a degree. So in other words, this would have been x squared, right? But we're going to take off an x, so we just have one x. Um, the 4 would have had an x to the power of 1, but if we take that down a degree, it just becomes a 1. And then this is the remainder of the 0, which we don't really need, so I'm going to get rid of it. And our final answer there is 3x plus 4. Now, if by chance we had a remainder here, which in this case we didn't, if we had gotten a remainder right here, 
then we would have put that in as a remainder. So we would have added that and then divided it by x divided by uh, plus 5.